Biden pledges response to referendums. The U.S. will target Russia's economy over the votes in Donbas and two Moscow-controlled regions, the president says. The U.S. will never recognize the referendums in the Donbas republics and two Russian-controlled regions in Ukraine, President Joe Biden said on Friday, pledging that Washington and its allies will seek to impose severe economic costs on Moscow for supporting the votes on joining Russia. Biden denounced the referendums on joining Russia, which kicked off on Friday, as a sham. They are a false pretext to try to annex parts of Ukraine by force in flagrant violation of international law, including the United Nations Charter, his statement read. The U.S. leader pledged to work with our allies and partners to impose additional swift and severe economic costs on Russia without providing further details. He went on to say, that Washington would continue to support the Ukrainian people and provide them with security assistance to fight off Russian troops. On Friday, the Donbas republics of Donetsk and Lugansk, as well as the Russian-controlled Kherson region and part of Zaporozhye region, began their referendums on joining Russia, which will be completed on September 27. Senior officials have signaled that Russia will support the Donbas republics if they vote to join the country. Moscow warned that, if the two republics and regions vote to join Russia, it would consider assaults on these areas to be attacks on its own territory and respond accordingly. A number of Western leaders have condemned the referendums. The G7 dismissed the votes as illegitimate and undemocratic and vowed to never recognize the results. The group, which includes the US, UK, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, and Japan, also said it would continue to provide financial, humanitarian, military, diplomatic and legal support to the government in Kiev.